Randy here, and we are playing Farm Expert 2017 by Playway. And in today's episode, hopefully we're going to do a little more field work here. Uh, for starters, we're probably going to advance time here. We are currently in July. So we'll probably advance it. Uh, it depends what we want to plant here. Actually, we might just go ahead and advance it till, like, until next year, because I don't think there's anything else we want to do this year in game time anyway yet. As folks may recall, we went ahead and bought a new tractor here last episode. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't change the months. It'll be nice, you know, just August, you know, go to September or, you know, skip to next year or something. I don't think there's any option to that that I know of. You know, when you get to the end of the month, you always got to wait next day. And then switch to the end of September. And we'll wait till next morning. Oh, and by the way, to uh, sell the Landini here, which probably not going to do quite yet. Make sure the new tractor works. Uh, might just maybe hang on to this tractor. We'll, uh, we'll see once. Like I said, it, it seems like it's a little underpowered for like everything we do with it. Which technically being 175 horsepower, so really shouldn't be that underpowered. But anyway, we should be in April. Yes, we are in April. But we are going to start plowing here. And I'm actually going to hire a couple of workers here. I've got the uh, tractor sitting out. I think it's this field right here. As soil acidification large. Okay, that does not seem like a good thing. Maybe I should do something about that first. Uh, I don't know if there's actually anything we can do about that. Let's see what's here. This is actually an option I want to try here. Harvest the crops. Player brings it to the silo. I haven't tried that yet. Obviously, been doing all the uh, harvesting here myself. Yes, yeah, doesn't look like we have the option for doing lime. No, let's just see if we can get that to work here a moment. Let's see, where is my sprayer? And by sprayer, I should probably technically say pellet fertilizer. Oh, I got it sitting in the garage. Yep, yeah, makes sense. Good place for it. Was uh, planning on doing a little plow in there, but just happened to see the large. Like, maybe I should do something about that first, if it works. The uh, lime feature supposedly wasn't fully implemented at the time of the release of this game. I don't know if they've changed that yet or not. Okay, empty fertilizer. No, we better just uh, fill with lime. I don't have any lime, so let's see if we can buy some here a moment. Agricultural store. Lime. Yes, we do have lime. Okay, let's buy a little bit here. Empty fertilizer. And can we fill lime? No, we cannot. Okay. So that either it doesn't work or possibly I have to have a different spreader. I'm going to have to look into that. So we'll go back to the original plan here. Then we'll uh, start plowing the fields. Okay, we'll just leave that there. Okay. And we're going to hire a worker to plow that field. And that one. And finally that one. 
And like I said, I've got the tractor set up on the other field here. We're going to do that one ourselves. Let's see, where's the tractor? There we go. Our Galadon X-16. Uh, I do have to ask where they came up with some of these names. I do have to ask that one. Anyway. Yeah, that seems like a little fast. Let's try speed setting one. Yeah, it seems pretty good. I had it on uh, cruise control two there. It's like, whoa, that, that's a little fast. Oh, yeah, this, this tractor's like not even struggling to pull this plow, it seems like. Although the RPMs are like really low. I mean, 500 RPMs, that's usually idle for most tractors. Or right around there, anyway. Looks like the same plow as what we got. Kind of cool. You can see the uh, four hired workers working over here. I don't know if you folks can see that one, but I can see a plow sticking up way over on the far field. And I guess we should uh, pay attention to what we're doing here, not necessarily what all my hired workers are doing. Let's see, what happens if we do cruise control 2? Eh, we'll actually do cruise control 2. Looks like that's about 17, 15, 17 kilometers an hour. That, that's moving right along plowing. It's actually a little hard to control the tractor at that speed. Improved ability plower. Oh, they haven't seen my plowing, have they? Yeah, it's definitely a little fast there on cruise control, too. Not that I'm complaining it's fast, it's just a little hard to uh, control the tractor bouncing around so bad. Probably somewhat realistic there, by the way. Uh, you try plowing that fast, ooh, we're going to go for a ride. That is if you don't break something first. And yes, hopefully the uh, the acidification of the field here doesn't matter too much. Uh, like I said, when I'm done recording here, I'm going to go uh, look into that again. Uh, see what's either I need a different spreader or maybe it does not work yet. Which, uh, if I remember correctly, I think when the game came out, the uh, spreading of lime uh, didn't work. Or there was something that wasn't right there, I think, if I remember correctly. I don't know if they've fixed that yet or not. That looks like a Lindener tractor. Could be wrong on that. I'm going to guess that's what that is. And this uh, tractor we have definitely looks like a Massey Ferguson. At least in my opinion. I could be wrong on that, but that's what it looks like to me.
Like I said, really hard to uh, control the tractor here. I think it doesn't help the fact that the plow doesn't seem to like bounce realistically on the three-point hitch. Uh, it needs to uh, float a little more on that uh, three-point hitch as the uh, back end of the tractor bounces up and down. Uh, the plow should stay where it's at, not like dip down, pull up, dip down, pull up type of thing. And obviously a larger plow would be nice as well. Uh, probably wait on that. I think we're definitely going to try to go for the animal farm next. Uh, we're obviously not too far from it. Just a couple more thousand. We'll actually have that. But we'll obviously have to wait till next harvest because we won't be earning any money for a while here. It's probably one of the, uh, the biggest differences between Farm Expert 2017 here and, say, Farming Simulator. Uh, farming Simulator does not have any like time control uh, you plant your field you can plant another field later on it it just all ripens depending on when you plant the field you know there's like no season control in it whereas a uh, farm expert here obviously they have the uh, the seasons you know months there's actually years in the game so you know you plant your crops in in this case we're going to plant them in april and then harvest them in uh, apparently July, which seems a little early, but uh, that's when it lets us harvest them. So I guess we'll, we'll, we'll say it. Uh, we're planting the short day variety of crops here. Nice if I could uh, get this line a little straighter here. Got this like little bow in the field. Don't know how I manage this, but uh, anyway, apparently I've got that in there. Looks like at least that hired worker's making pretty good progress. Uh, from here, it looks like the other one's almost done, actually. And obviously, other than uh, seeing the plow and the tractor over on the far field there, I can't tell how far he is. Uh, larger field obviously has not made much progress. Uh, it looks like they're all the same tractors. I don't know if that's the way it always is. Like, you always get the same tractor all the time. Yeah, it'd be nice if uh, for like the larger fields they'd actually have you know a larger tractor and plow rather than just you know, the same tractor and plow for each field. Or maybe as you upgrade your equipment, maybe the hired worker upgrades his equipment as well. Actually, not sure on that yet. Obviously, I've not upgraded my equipment yet, but. Would be nice to see the hired worker actually use different equipment. Or even to actually, obviously we got a second tractor. Hire that second tractor for uh, for plowing.
definitely have to say this tractor's definitely pulling better than our little Landini did. Definitely working much, much better, which is good. Definitely uh, seems like a, a good purchase here. And it occurs to me, I wonder what our skill levels are at here. Driver, 15. Plower, 25. Increases the pulverizing of the soil. Okay, cool. Apparently we're pretty good at reaping, though. Don't know why that one's so high. Also, it seems like a lot of the uh, farming simulator games you're seeing being developed are including some sort of mechanic here for, you know, actually seeing the soil get tilled. Uh, farming simulator won't, uh, doesn't look like it's going to have that yet, but uh, a couple of the other farming games that are being released or have been uh, released all seems like they're starting to include this dynamic soil, you know, where you actually see the soil getting uh, turned over. Get some sort of texture on it. I'm just assuming here we're probably not seeing this from a farming simulator yet. Uh, they probably need to uh, do some more work on their graphics engine first. The uh, engine behind farming simulator that obviously runs the game. Uh, they probably need to do some more work there before we'll uh, be seeing that in uh, farming simulator. But yes, I'm just, I was just happened to think of that there. I've been noticing a lot of the uh, games that either, like I said, either have come out or will be coming out that are including this uh, dynamic terrain. Which uh, definitely, in my opinion, adds to the game bit. It's kind of cool to see that. You know, if you plow the game, you actually do see, you know, the trot there. You know, the furrows getting turned over. Looks pretty cool. Okay, looks like we're good halfway done on the field. Uh, seems like a good uh, point to wrap up the episode here. Going to uh, continue plowing this field. Let the hired workers continue plowing. Don't know if the one on the big field there will finish before I'm done or not. We'll uh, see once. But anyway, with that, folks, we'll wrap up the video here. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.